I have a nine-year-old brother and when he was in the first grade, he came home and they had done this project that um, you had to say like what you wanted to do when you grew up. My little brother said he wanted to learn Latin and Greek like his big sister. And that was like a huge moment for me where I felt like I had some sort of impact on children and that impassioned me to bring what I thought was important in my life to other people. As this year's Fenwick Scholar, I worked on developing a curriculum for ages six through eight to introduce students to the Iliad in the Worcester Public School District and see how they reacted and engaged with classics. The Fenwick Scholar is the highest academic honor at Holy Cross and I've been working on an independent original research project, which was my whole curriculum for the academic year. Throughout my time at Holy Cross, I took many education classes which really connected to my experience as a classics major and got into the isolation that I felt as one of the only black people that I knew in the field of classics. I thought that introducing the Iliad specifically to marginalized communities where I felt so much connection to Achilles would really increase engagement and access as well in a way that hasn't been done before, which I think is why diversity and inclusion in classics is important in the first place. Fall semester, I spent mostly working on developing the curriculum and doing research, and then the spring semester, I've spent actually teaching them about the Iliad and about ancient Greek culture. I think that the field of classics kind of ignores early elementary education and they assume that children don't have enough knowledge to be able to think about these complex texts and scholarly questions. But the data that I've collected really just says that's not true at all. Students are completely smart enough in order to answer these complex questions about humanity. The students have surprised me like time after time that they're very smart and they're very capable of adding to this scholarly discussion of what the Iliad is about and how access to classics can really change someone's life and what they think about the world.